What's up, internet? Eric Van Holtz, founder of Beard Brand here. I am back! Yeah, did y'all miss me? I hope so. Uh, and it's for some uh, pretty big news. All right, we are outside the Beard Brand office. I want to go inside and show you some things. Come on. Oh, we got Jordan over here. Mike over there. Uh, they had no idea that I was doing this. So uh, we, we don't work with the lights on either. So what's going on with that? Keith in there, ruining, ruining our audio. <laughs> All right, so uh, if you look back on some of our old barbershop videos, you may kind of remember this blue wall. Uh, at one period of time, we stuck a barber chair right here. We had Jake the barber flying from Philly down here in Austin. We filmed here. Uh, it was one of our um, barber shooting areas. And if you're not getting the hint of the video yet, uh, we got big news revolving around our barber shop. So I kind of want to give you a little bit of the history of our cutting and where we're going for the future. So uh, where else did we cut? Let's go this way. Oh my God, like uh, a lot of mess here. You can tell things are uh, changing. We normally don't keep tables out. Uh. <laughs> oh look, there's our logo. Come on in. And last but not least, okay. All right. So uh, if you stand here, come here, Ben. Stand right here. Uh, if you look at me right now, this may look a little familiar because uh, I will record uh, studio videos. So I turn this light on. Boom. And then I uh, do my alliance videos. So my alliance videos are talking back here. But if you're also keen eyed on the Beard Brand channel, you may notice we used to have a barber chair here and actually a barber chair over there. We would put a barber chair here and Bob the Barber has uh, filmed a lot of videos here. And then also uh, we've flown in Mahesh, who's filmed out of here. We've flown in Dave Banks, who's uh, cut out of here. And then we've done uh, some with uh, Ricky. And uh, we bought uh, Cisco. Cisco's been brought into here a good amount. But now you can tell that it's no longer a barbershop. It's now converted into the, the Beard Brand Alliance uh, studio. So what happened to our studio? Let's go see. This is where uh, the fun begins. All right. See this is... See this building? We signed a lease, uh, what, about a month ago? And we've been working on getting this up to snuff. It's got this beautiful artwork on it. If you ever come down to Austin, you're gonna have to swing by. Uh, we're right off the highway. There's a, man, they just spray painted that building. Um, but our building's got the spy shop. Spice shop. And then, uh, this is it, man. This is it. This is the new Beard Brand Barbershop. We, uh, we've been working on it. It's not completely done yet, but uh, we're going to start filming all of our content in the barbershop. So I wanted to give you a little sneak peek as to uh, what it looks like and who's in there and all that shit is. Oh. Yo, I could not stop watching your Kid Viper video. Oh, yeah? I could not stop watching it, man. Yeah, man, it was that flow like that. Woo. So we got a, we got a, this is Chris. He's a, one of our future barbers we're going to have on the channel. We're doing a little behind the scenes sneak peek to let all of our viewers know uh, of what's coming in. But as you guys know, Bob has been uh, cranking out stuff. Uh, crazy, he's been helping with the design 
And as you can tell there, we've got uh, work in progress. I don't even know what's going on there. Uh, we've made it like super white in here, super bright, so that uh, you guys are gonna be able to see all the cuts, see what's going on. And then uh, we're gonna continue to add some plants in here to add a little bit of greenness to it. And the goal is to get about, uh, I don't know, four or five different barbers in here over time as we can find uh, the right people who fit the beard brand core values. And that's one of the things, uh, let's give you a little tour. Uh, huh. All the beard branders are gonna be on, on uh, this video. Oh, we're filming. Yeah. <laughs> no one knew we were doing this. But that's Shana, she's our photographer. So this little area is gonna be our uh, photography uh, studio. Sorry, Shana. No, you're fine. Um, and then, I'm totally like probably not making this very relaxing for him, but he looks very relaxed. So I think uh, Bob is going to commandeer this area at some point, uh, but I don't know when that's going to happen. So for now, they're just kind of working out there. Ooh, and check this out. Come on in. Woo. So you see these, these are uh, clearly a work in progress. These are gonna be um, the barber stations. So we're gonna put mirrors up here. They'll be able to put their tools on here. And if you come around, uh, they'll be able to, to have some storage in here. This whole little nook area, uh, you can see we have shelves over there. We're gonna put some beard brand products. Uh, right here you can see we've got, um, was that water plumbing stuff? So we'll uh, have sinks eventually go in here to be able to either wash your hands uh, or uh, wash your hair. And then uh, what do we got here? Junk? This is a junk drawer. Junk drawer so far. Everything got painted. So right now this is, uh, this is nothing, but it'll be something. You know, maybe we'll get some tattoo artists or something like that, right? You guys know any tattoo artists? Uh, yeah, any tattoo artists. Uh, I assume this is all wet. Hey, Ben, come into the bathroom with me. Uh, when we when we got this spot, this toilet was was like a weird '80s black toilet. Uh, so now it's just kind of like a the most exciting toilet you've probably ever seen on YouTube. <laughs> and then uh, come in here. This is, again, like these aren't really uh, the most exciting things, but they're important to us. Uh, right here we added uh, electrical and uh, hot water and cold water for a washer and dryer. A lot of barbers uh, go through rags, so being able to have a washer dryer uh, on hand is really important. And kind of like the things that really um, are special to me about how we're building out the barber shop is we're going to be working with independent barbers. So the barbers are going to bill their clients direct. And really, in my opinion, like if, if you're passionate about the craft, you want to have that control over your environment, have that control um, over your earnings. And so like different barbers will charge different rates depending on um, where their skill level is or where their time is valued at and uh, you're gonna be able to, to get a whole, whole bunch of uh, cool cuts. And you're gonna be able to see it as we get more of the barbers in here. Um, hopefully you'll be able to start to learn about their personalities and their skills and um, how they work and uh, you know, like all that good stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed a little sneak peek of the barber shop. We can go out the back without distracting them. So uh, yeah, just uh, stay posted. Um, Keep an eye on uh, the evolution of the barbershop. Currently, it's kind of like just private cuts right now. It's not publicly open, but uh, as it gets set up, then we'll uh, open it up to the public and start getting, uh, getting you guys in here. And if you're a barber, you know, hit up Bob the Barber, Bob Miranda, and uh, he's the guy who's gonna be leading up the barbershop and building the team out. So if you're interested in working here in Austin, Texas, be sure to hit us up. As always, thanks for watching, cheers. Keep on growing. You been to beardbrand.com lately? I mean, seriously. You wanna look good? You wanna take care of yourself? You want people to know you take care of yourself? What you doing? Don't waste your time.
Beard Brand, dot com.